ABC 36 Storm Team Forecast. Well, after a few showers this morning, it turned out to be a windy and another unseasonably warm day here in central and eastern Kentucky. And we have one more on tap for the day on Thursday. Very summer-like. Watching a few strong storms, at least the possibility of that late tomorrow evening and into the early hours of Friday. I think the timing is going to be critical there. A dry for the weekend with uh, below average temperatures for late April. Good news on our Viper radar, nothing happening, and we should remain quiet. Visible satellite showing that mid-level cloud deck hanging tough across the southeastern counties. Much of the rest of the area, mix of clouds and sunshine. Rough afternoon to say the least to uh, the Buckeye State now moving over toward western Pennsylvania. Tornado watch boxes there and a number of tornado warnings around the Columbus area and points to the north right on the nose of that area of low pressure. And with some warmer air and the low to mid levels kind of capping or suppressing any of the thunderstorm development as the front moves through. The focus is to our north, so we're out of the uh, storm threat, severe storm threat this evening. Looks good, in fact. Mount Sterling there in front of the Montgomery County Courthouse, 75. Note the winds southwest at about uh, 15 to 20 with higher gusts. Now, that area across the southern and southeastern part of the state with the clouds hanging tough. Mid-70s there, but upper 70s to around 80, 81 Frankfurt, 82 back to Bardstown. And we still have wind gusts 30 plus, especially along the I-64 corridor. Temperatures out west, low to mid 80s. That's where we'll be tomorrow. This first front moves through with very little fanfare. We'll be in between systems during the daylight hours tomorrow. It's really tomorrow evening that we'll focus on. But here in the short term, another uh, decent evening to come. Enjoy it uh, while it lasts. Should be in the mid 50s tomorrow morning. And then that south wind with a lot of sunshine that's going to push us back into the low 80s. Watch what happens tomorrow evening, though. Uh, kind of a cluster or a complex of thunderstorms rolling in here late evening, early part of the overnight. The farther east it goes, the better chance it is going to begin to weaken out. So as a result, we're just on the eastern edge of this. Really the favored area, the level three, will be out here in far western Kentucky, out around Paducah, and then things really ramp down to the level one with uh, damaging winds and some hail being the primary threats. It's really a low end tornado threat, uh, if that. Uh, looking at the big picture, that front sweeps on through and then we'll see some drier air begin to work in late Friday. Notice the cool down, meaning we're back into the 60s and some additional uh, unseasonably cool air that will arrive as we hit the upcoming weekend. But the good news is we are looking at some dry conditions uh, other than late tomorrow evening and then uh, into Friday morning. We're pretty much looking high and dry for the upcoming weekend. So your seven-day forecast will start out in the mid-50s in the morning, 82 for the afternoon high, and then we'll watch that uh, area of uh, thunderstorms roll our way late evening and during the early hours of Friday with a lingering shower mainly during the morning. Either side of the 60-degree mark for highs this weekend, but dry, and then we're back into the mid-60s, maybe uh, a thunderstorm back in the mix by this time next week.